And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. The start of the weekend is upon us. It's Friday evening baseball on the show. It's the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Houston Astros. And we'll be back for the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go now. And the right-hander with the good curveball, Lance McCullers Jr. Chris, what should we keep an eye on here with him? And a guy like this is going to keep you in the ball game. He's going to go out there, compete. Not going to see a whole lot of flair and flash, but he's going to hand it over to the bullpen at some point. And if you've been able to score a few runs, you'll be in it late. So we'll see if he's able to do that for his club in this one. Josh Lowe stands in now and lets that one go for a strike. 7-11. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. Next offering down in the dirt. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And now one away. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Here's Albert Pujols. Albert. In the air, out towards left center. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there are two down. Batting third. The third baseman, number two, Yandi. Two outs, base is empty. Here's the third baseman, Yandi Diaz. Sat out last night's game, but back in there today. And the first pitch misses for ball one. McCullers winds fires and there's the strike fooled on that pitch got a little anxious and here it comes swing and a ball popped up Guriel handles the chance Ray's held in check here now here come the Astros no score back after this on the show Back here in Houston, and today's starting pitcher, Luis Patino. Chris, it's a little more common these days, but still, he's a strikeout per inning type of guy. Well, I hear you about the strikeouts. A lot more guys striking out today, but when you consider having the ability to get that strikeout, particularly when you need it, the man on third, less than two outs, situations where, yeah, maybe you're not a real high strikeout guy, but just knowing you have the swing and miss stuff in a big spot, I think it's real critical, and he's got it. Next offering is in for a strike. The pitch. And there's the ball. There's the strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Next offering is down low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. They all pitch. That one the other way. Calls it in, and there's one away. Batting second, the designated hitter, Michael. Now Brantley. Michael Brantley steps in. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. Ground ball up the middle and a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he can handle. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. One down. Jose Altuve up to hit here. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. It's fair, and it is gone. Jose Altuve will touch them all. His 11th of the year, it's 2-0. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Now 
it's Jordan Alvarez. Batting four. The left field. On the ground, right Jordan. side. And he takes it himself for the out. Batting fifth. The right fielder. Kyle. Here's Kyle Tucker. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. And it's one and one. Next offering is foul back. And a pitch. Line drive. And that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And now it's Alex Bregman. And first good. offering is fouled off. Baseman, Alex Bregman. Just missed. And it is two and one. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Next pitch is outside. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And he walked him. His ability to draw walks has been something it's been part of his career since day one. Not shortstop. So two down now, and here is Jeremy Pena. Good contact guy, good defender. Up the middle, into the outfield, base hit. Here's Tucker on his way to the plate. He will score, and they lead by three. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. Now it's Batting Jason it. Castro. The catcher. And he swings Jason. and misses at the initial offering. Castro. Bregman at second. Pena on at first with two down. And there's a fly ball deep right field. And it's gone. Home run. He'll touch them all. His 14th of the year. And they tack on three. It's 6 nothing. Well, that one won't stay below the radar. That made a lot of noise. Change up up in the zone is a hitter's dream. It's a BP fastball, but you're playing in real time. Most batting nut. The first base. Yulieski. Now it's Yuli Gurriel. And yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Well, at this pace, he's not going to be in this game for very long, but he's got to find a way to shake it off, keep it isolated to one inning, come back out. You could throw up a bunch of zeros and save that bullpen. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Next pitch misses, and that's ball one. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Next offering misses. Ball two. Sometimes you got to fight to get back into an at bat. Take some tough pitches, even out the count. And down on strikes goes Guriel. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now a six nothing ball game. And now it's Brandon Lau having a huge season. Comes into the day leading the league. The second baseman, Brandon Lau. The right-hander back to work. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse 
go after hitters and get quick outs. In the air to left center, Alvarez drifts towards it and puts the squeeze on that. And there's one down. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. And G next is the designated Four. hitter, G Man Choi. Good power, not great in the OBP department. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. That one is hammered right field. That's back. And forget it. G-Man Choi bops one out of here. His 26th of the year, and they cut into the lead. It's 6-1. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit velo wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it that needed for him to circle the pillows. The right fielder. Digging in, Adolis. Adolis Garcia. Garcia. And the 1 0. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. There's the swing and a miss. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. That one to first. Tosses to the pitcher, covering the bag. And Garcia is out. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Two outs, base is empty. And stepping in for the Rays, Kevin Kiermeyer. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Here's a 1-1. Just missed. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire did give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. The 3 1. Down to ball here, rolls foul. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And that's a two-bagger. You got to get on your horse and get to that thing and get it back in because he's going to come barrel around first. He's going to put pressure on you. If you bobble it or you don't get there in a hurry, he's going to make you look silly and end up on second base. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Zunino. Didn't play in the day game yesterday, so he should be fresh for this one. And yeah, the first offering is not close. Here comes a pitch. And it's even up. One ball, one strike. Righty to the plate. And one and two. Now, Not sure what's going two. on right there. No chance. Probably have some uh, funny texts from his buddies after the game. Man at second. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Good job at damage control right there. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And this is now a 6-1 ball game. Brooks Raley gets the call from the now pen. Big Tampa deficit Bay. here, but he's still got Number a job 30. to do. Brooks Raley. Back here in Houston, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now, Jose Siri. For the Astros, the center field, the pitch. Jose. 
And it's fouled away. Yo one. That clips the corner. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. Good late cut for the strikeout there. That thing really got in on him. And you know, the cutter isn't really a huge swing and miss pitch most of the time because it's not really meant to move a whole lot. You're just trying to miss the big part of the barrel and maybe get some weak contact. But that one right there did a whole lot more than that. That was a really good pitch. Next offering is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And there's two down. Very strong coming Second out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one. Getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. These aren't fun at bats if you're a hitter. I'm so glad I'm retired. Altuve in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Knocks it down. The throw into second, and that's a double. Here's Jordan Alvarez. And a foul ball. And the strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Altuve on its second with two down. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. One left for Houston. They lead it though, 6 1. These days people say a lot of things that they won't. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. And now the shortstop, Taylor the Walls. The shortstop. And the pitch. Taylor Walls. That's in there. And it's 0 and 1. He needs a quick 1 2 3 this time around. Last inning. Through a lot of pitches. Bounce to the left side. Rolls across the diamond. Leadoff man retired here in the third. Now batting. The left fielder. Josh. So the Rays batting Lowe. order turns over. Here's the Rays leadoff hitter, Josh Lowe. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Kicks and deals. And a swing and a miss. A wind and a pitch. And strike two. That misses the zone. And the count's even at two. And the pitch. The punch out there. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. And now it's Albert Pujols' turn to hit. Albert Pujols. In there, and it's 0-1. And the right-hander deals. That one lifted to left. And it drops in, but a good job to keep it in front. The third baseman is a two. Now up for Tampa Yandy. Bay, Yandy Diaz. He's over one. In there for strike one. All one's the count. And a pitch. And that one off the outside edge. The 1-1. One, one. And that one missing low. I got two one to count.
puts it in the air out towards left center. Makes the grab on the run. And that'll do it. One left for Tampa. The lead remains five. It's 6-1. As we go to the last of the third and stepping in for the Astros, Kyle Tucker. The right field. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. Didn't quite have enough. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfect. Here's Alex Bregman. First pitch just misses. And a swing and a miss. The pitch. And fouled off. Stays alive. And now the lefty. That one hammered left field. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Now batting, shortstop, Jeremy. Two outs, base is empty. So next up for Houston, Jeremy Pena. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot, and they add to their lead. It's 7-1. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. That was one of those home runs where you really don't know if he got enough of it off the bat. I mean, he put a good swing on it, clearly, but I wouldn't say he really got the sweet spot on the bat. The exit below wasn't anything too impressive, but it had all it needed for him to circle the pillows. Base is empty with two away. And here's the catcher, Jason the catcher. Castro. He's already homered in this one. Castro. At the belt and fires. Hit weakly on the ground. The throw to first, that ends the frame. Astros notch a run on the solo homer. It's now 7-1. Back here at Minute Maid Park as we go to the top of the fourth. Now it's going to be Brandon Lau. The second baseman. McCullers back to work. Just missed. Clearly down in this ball game, and you can't look at the deficit and try to get it all back in one swing. It's got to come one at bat at a time and even shrink it down smaller, pitch to pitch. Make that guy on the mound work to get you out. Swing and a miss, and that is strike one. The wind of the pitch. That one is absolutely belted back there. Makes the catch up against the wall. Now batting, designated hitter, G-Man Choi. And now the hitter, G-Man Choi. Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Oh, and one. Righty delivers. Strike two. Right hander kicks deals. In the air on the infield. Bregman is under it. Two down. Now batting. The right fielder. Adolis. Adolis Garcia. Garcia. Next to hit for the Rays. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Hey. 
Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. That completes the strikeout inning over. Bottom four, and now Yuli Gurriel. Leading up for the Astros. The first base the pitch. Yuli Eski. Hammer. Base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. We all now saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? Snackcast is here with the answer. Yeah, Boog, it says the exit below was 113 miles per hour, and it looked every bit of it, didn't it? I mean, just an impressive swing of the bat, and clearly he saw it out of the pitcher's hand no problem. The next offering misses. One and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same play. Off balance speed. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Now batting the designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Yeah. And at first, there's Michael Brantley. Good speed on the base pass. He handles the bat very well. Siri stands at first with one out. Swing and a ball popped up. That one gets down for a hit. Throw into third. The tag out. As a base runner right there, you're making the call yourself. This ball is clearly in front of you, and you've got to know for sure if you're going to be able to make it safely to third. That time, he was wrong. That's a really nice throw. Came into third. Jose Altuve will hit next. He's already homered here in this one. Out towards left center. Low under it. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So the Astros lead one, and they're on top 7 1. Welcome back. Here's Kiermeyer now. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. That's a strike. That's strike one. So how much does his speed factor into his ability to go get it? It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Left-hand batter waits. Ball one there. There's one guy that I can think about, Boog, who started as a third baseman, Alex Gordon, and then became an elite perennial gold glover out in left field for the Kansas City Royals. But he's a guy, when you watch him play, you would imagine that that's all he ever played in his life was the outfield. Got him looking. And there's one down. Well, that's a pitch, that slider from an opposite-handed pitcher that you usually see very well, but for some reason he didn't pick it up, and it just kind of got into the strike zone late. Gave up on it a little bit early. Here's Mike Zanino. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yeah, some guys just have instincts, right? I mean, that's the way it goes. We talk about Larry Walker, the Hall of Famer, and his instinct on the bases, despite the fact that he didn't play a, a ton of baseball as a kid. The 0 2. Got him. That's his second strikeout. Back to back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants. Now, here is Taylor Walls. And that one fouled off. A one down. Foul ball. Next pitch in the dirt. Going to count one and two.
And he deals. This one popped up. And makes the grab. And that is that. Down in order go the Rays. They're down 7 to 1. JT Shagwa on a pitch out of the pen here. And we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Well, at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he did a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. And welcome back. John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. Set to get us started. Bottom five, your Don Alvarez. That one pushed to the left and foul. And here it comes. And one and two. This guy's sink has so much drop in it. It's almost like a split finger fastball. Instead of just weak contact and balls on the ground, he gets swings and misses. Right handed reliever. Fought off foul. And a pitch. Swings and misses. One out. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. In there for strike one. And the righty deals. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches down in 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle, hope he gets a mistake. One guy that was really great once the count got to two strikes, Miguel Cabrera. That one blasted deep to right. Way back there. <laughs> Left hand hitter waits. Ripped on a line. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Third baseman number two. Alex. Two outs, Bregman. base is empty. And next to hit for Houston, Alex Bregman. First offering, misses the mark. The pitch. That's through there for a strike. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. That one is lifted in the air, and going back is Kiermaier. Makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Astros go down one, two, three, and they're on top seven to one. Back here in Houston, now the left fielder, Josh Lowe. The left fielder, Josh Lowe. Colors back to work. There's the strike. And now the 1. He swings and fouls one off. A wide to kick the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And the 2. And ball one. The one two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. The next pitch misses at one and one. Righty to the plate. And that's outside. The wind of the pitch. And that one fouled off. The pitch. In the air, left field. 
Brings it in. And there's two away. The third baseman, number two, Yandy. Yandy Diaz, Diaz now. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. Now the 0 1. And a foul ball. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. In the air out to center. Payne makes the catch, and that'll do it. 7 8 9, two up in the home half of the inning. It's the Astros 7, the Rays 1. Back here in Houston, well, we go bottom six. And stepping in for the Astros, Jeremy Payne. And the pitch. Shortstop. Jeremy. Line drive, base hit. Now batting the catcher, Jason Castro, up next for the Astros. Popped in the air, left field. One down. The first baseman, number 10. And at first, Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to notch number 100. You'll want. And a strike. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. And out of here. Yuli Gurriel comes through. That's a special one. 100 career homers. And they tack on to their lead. It's 9-1. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but... I'll And now it's Jose Siri. First pitch, and he just misses. Still only one out here in the inning. Slapped foul. To third, Diaz collects it. Whips it to first. That's the second out. Deceptive slider right there, stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front, yeah, rolled over it, put it on the ground. Designated hitter, Michael Brantley. Two outs, base is empty. So now the Astros designated hitter, Michael Brantley, for the fourth time tonight. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one ripped, and there's a hit, and that keeps the inning going. Up next for the Astros. Runner at first, the two away. Baseman. Here's the former Jose. MVP, Jose Altuve. Altuve. Liner, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. First and second, two down. So here's the Astros cleanup hitter, Jordan Alvarez. This guy has turned into a beast. Rip to third. Sneaks through, base hit. And it gets by him. One run across. Throw cut off, now to the plate. In there, he scores. And it's a double digit lead as they're up by 10. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. The right fielder, number 30, Kyle. And that's in there for strike one.
Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Inning over, although plenty of damage done. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Astros 11, the Rays 1. Top of inning number seven, Lau at the plate. He provides a surprising amount of pop from the second base position. Listen, that's not something to take lightly. Getting that kind of production from the guys up the middle, it's not a strength of most lineups. There's a strike. And what does that do for a team when you get power from unexpected spots like that? When you're in the dugout and you see a guy come up big like that that you don't necessarily expect it, it just energizes that entire team. Swing, and this is ripped down the right field line. Way back there. Out of here. Brandon Lau bops one out of here. And they close the gap. It's 11-2. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. So up next, G-Man Choi, one for two. Up next for Tampa Bay, the designated hitter. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That's back there. In the air to make the catch. The right field, Adolis Garcia. In there, and it's Owen Wong. Kicks and deals. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Around first and hustling for second. And he's in with a stand-up double. Man, Siggy, he hit that ball right on the sweet spot. According to StatCast, the exit below 110 miles an hour. Yeah, Boog, I mean, that right there is an absolute missile. And he just put a great swing on it, squared it up perfectly. Those are the ones that feel really good. Here's Kevin Kiermaier. Worm burner into the outfield for a knock. Now a long throw home. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Mike Zunino. Man at first with one gone. Here's the power hitting catcher, Mike Zunino. In there for strike one. All ones count. Kicks and fires. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Kiermaier, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch misses. Now one and two. And the right-hander deals. And he chases that one. And two away now. Taylor Wall, the next to hit. Taylor Wall. Well struck right field. Go! He'll circle the bases, and they add a pair. It's 11-5. That's their third home run of the game. 
They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like now that. The At the field. play, Josh, Josh Lowe. Lowe. First pitch, Lowe. just misses. That one missed. Tapped softly on the ground, grabs it barehanded. It's there, and that's a great play. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. Seventh inning stretch time. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Matt Whistler. He last pitched two days ago. Matt Whistler. Now it's Alex Bregman. And the pitch. The third Out towards right center Alex. field. Garcia. As this Bregman. one sized up, makes the catch for the out. The Here's the shortstop at the play. Jeremy Payne. He's already homered in this game. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. The pitch. Turned on, but foul wide of third. The 2 In the air, out towards left center. Kiermaier pulls it down, out number two. Now batting, catcher, Jason. Now the catcher Catch up to him, Jason. Little chopper rolls foul. The 0 1. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And now one and two. One and two here. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Here's a 1 2. Stays alive. That's pitches downstairs. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Astros are down quietly. They're up big, however, it's 11 5. Astros go to the pen, and here comes Ryan Stanek. This is appearance number 65. Albert Pujols now at the plate. Leading off for Tampa Bay. The first base to number 55. Albert Pujols. The pitch. Off the mark there. 1 and 0. Oh. At the belt and fires. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Multi-hit game for him now, and with the lack of results he's been having lately, I'm sure he's feeling some relief. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. And here is Yandy Diaz. And that's in there for strike one. If you're gonna get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground, could be two. Off-balance feed, there's one. And it's a double play. Now that, the second base. Nice soft hands Brand on the backhand right there right. in the six hole. Starts the double play. That's not an easy throw, but he puts it on the money. Really good job to get that double play started. Two outs, base is empty. Now here's the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. He has 
as they like to say light tower power not a big guy but a big swing and thunder in that back. Next offering is fouled back. Down and in, moved his feet. Two down, nobody on. They had a foul ball. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Smoked on the ground a second. Tosses to first. Lau out on the play. And the inning is over. It ain't real. If you ain't bust no checks, it ain't real. If you ain't earn respect, it ain't real. Back here at Minute Maid Park, here's Guriel. Leading up for the Astros. The first base. And he deals. Well, and that's downstairs and outside. If you're the pitcher, you've got to go right at this guy. It's the number nine hitter in the lineup. You can't be afraid of contact in this situation. This one in the air center field. Kiermaier gets under it. One away. Now batting center fielder. So the lineup flips over. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Jose Siri. In there, and it's 0-1. Here comes a pitch. Up the middle, Walls collects. In there safely. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. Michael Brantley stands in. Double play ball to second. There's one. On to first, double play. And that's the inning. Through eight full, it's the Astros 11, the Rays 5. So here comes Ryan Presley to the mat, and he'll feature a hard slider to work off his fastball. Number 55. At the plate now for the Rays is the DH, G-Man Choi. And here he comes. And the slider catches the zone. Backdoored him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Left-hand batter waits. Next offering is outside. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off-speed's probably coming. And a pitch. Stays alive. Left-hand hitter waits. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. Well, that pitch right there didn't even sniff the zone. He was he all out of whack on that delivery. Right fielder. So, Adoles. man aboard. Adolis Garcia. Garcia digs in now. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. Not a swing you want to watch again. Nobody out. Runner at first. This one high in the air to left center. Siri on the move to the right. And there's one down.
Now batting, the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. Here's the center fielder, Kevin Kiermeyer. In there for strike one. This guy absolutely flies. The defense wants to turn two, but they've got to get a ball they can do it with. Make sure you get the first out before you try to rush and get two and end up with nothing. Choi over at first with one away. Next offering is down low. Ground ball right side could be two. To second for one. Celebration time in Houston. The Astros have clinched the AL West. Well, this team was ready from the first pitch of the ball game. Swinging the bats, scoring runs, just very aggressive. I feel like they set the tone, and that tone created a momentum that took them all the way to the finish line. Nice win today. 11-5, your final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shumby. We'll see you soon. Astros, 11 runs, 15 hits, no errors, they left four men on.